conspiracy for PS2 review. Somehow this fucking game was released for the Xbox also. It's also known as Conspiracy. Arms to Destruction Massives. Conspiracy. Bron Masawego Resenia. Publishers were Oxygen Interactive Software and the developers were Kyushu Entertainment, masters of the craft whose repertoire includes Buzz the Sports Quiz, Zumba Burn It Up and Narcos Rise of the Cartels. What's the story of Morning Glory? Well, so glad you asked. Cole Justice, a retired Secret Service agent has been recalled by the agency for one last mission. Idra, a rogue government agency has according to intelligence reports been developing and selling biological weapons to terrorist organizations. Now, Cole's mission is to stop them, but who should he trust, the government or Idra? Conspiracy, Weapons of Mass Destruction, is a first-person shooter built on the engine Kaju Entertainment made for Warhammer Fire Warrior. As Cole Sullivan, players will be assigned to missions around the globe, including places such as the South American Jungle and the Arctic Circle. The game contains typical FPS weapons such as the machine gun, the sniper rifle and the rocket launcher. In addition to the campaign there's also the endurance mode where enemies will spawn around you and you have to stay alive as long as possible. For each enemy you take down you'll earn points, and if you're quick you can make chain combos and get huge scores. Conspiracy, Weapons of Cognitive Destruction was released in 2005, yet its graphics appear outdated even for that time. There are several reasons for this. Firstly, the game and game industry had been rapidly advancing, with significant leaps in graphical capabilities each year. In 2004, titles like Half-Life 2 and Doom 3 inches set new benchmarks with their cutting-edge visuals and sophisticated rendering techniques. Compared to these, Conspiracy, Weapons of Mass Destruction fell short, with its graphics seeming rudimentary and lacking in detail. Moreover, the game's development might have been constrained by budget and technological limitations. Smaller studios often did not have access to the same resources as larger, more established companies. This disparity could result in less polished products. The textures in Conspiracy, Weapons of mass destruction appear flat and low resolution, character models lack intricacy, and environmental details are sparse, lighting and shadow effects, which were becoming increasingly sophisticated, also seemed simplistic in this game. Additionally, the art direction might not have prioritized graphical fidelity focusing instead on gameplay mechanics or storytelling. This decision, while perhaps enhancing other aspects of the game, contributed to its dated visual appearance. Thus, in the context of 2005's rapidly evolving gaming landscape conspiracy, weapons of mass destruction looked notably behind the curve graphically. Conspiracy, weapons of mass destruction features cheap enemy AI, which significantly detracts from the gaming experience. The enemies often display predictable and simplistic behaviors, making them easy to outsmart but frustratingly unrealistic to deal with nonetheless thanks to the just plain silly amount of health the supposed walking power fantasy in your control possesses. They frequently rely on unfair tactics, such as pinpoint accuracy from great distances or spawning in overwhelming numbers, and literally out from under fucking rocks. As someone who has actually completed the game this time, Pecking for good television has informed us that the game feel of conspiracy, Weapons of America's internal combustion, is merely one of its trial and error due to the wildly inconsistent difficulty spikes rather than anything resembling a genuine challenge, it's enough to make one think the developers made the campaign so unfair in order to hide from the fact that there is barely an hour's worth of content in the campaign. I don't want anyone talking shit about the Order 1886 until they have seen how this game severely takes the piss. This lack of sophistication in the enemy's actions, such as failing to take cover effectively or using repetitive attack patterns, undermines the game's immersion to say the least and reduces the satisfaction derived from overcoming genuinely challenging opponents instead of these low poly hits can McThurfikers.
for those who don't know. Like the man writing our script, hit scanning is where enemies hit players instantly without any projectile travel time, creating an unfair advantage. Because would anyone be fucking surprised if they found out modeling ballistics just wasn't in this game's budget? This means that as soon as enemies detect the player, they can deal damage immediately, making evasion and strategy less effective. This approach simplifies the AI programming and makes a development team reach them sweet-ass milestones more easily. However, it also results in frustrating gameplay, as players are frequently hit without the chance to react. Consequently, the reliance on hit scanning reduces the game's challenge to mere reflexes rather than tactical engagement, which, considering the player's slow movement speed and that most weapons in this game feature recoil, is pretty fucking stupid, or lazy, or desperate, or all three. Conspiracy. Weapons of Mass Destruction suffers from poor gameplay primarily due to Cole Justice's slow movement speed, which makes dodging enemy fire nearly impossible. The excessive recoil on guns further hampers the player's ability to aim accurately against the aforementioned hit scanning enemies, who can instantly deal damage. These factors combine disastrously. The limited health points, otherwise known as HP to the professional gamers, exacerbate the problem as players quickly lose health with few opportunities to recover. Together, these issues create a sluggish, imbalanced game where survival feels more like luck than skill, making for an overall unpleasant and unrewarding experience. Unless you are interested in what primo PS2 shovelware looked and played like, then by all means avoid this PS2 port of a shit PC first person shooter.